right. Near bottom edge. Uh, Speech off. A thing for story time. I brailed it myself, so it's going to be a bit long. All right. This one does have a title, and this one is called The Reasons Why. The Reasons Why by Georgette Williams. Well, for now. <laughs> one, Bryn. Wait. I grab her Claire's arm, but she brushes past me untouched. I swallow the lump in my throat. What did I do? I ask her long legs. What did I do? Her long legs cover more distance in a shorter amount of time. But I'm a sprinter. I easily keep up with her. We're shoulder to shoulder. I touch her arm as she's about to turn the corner. Around that corner, her friend wait. Around that corner, her friends wait. Around that corner, she can complain about the thing I just said. But around that corner, we won't be able to hold each other. Why are you following me? She snaps. She won't, uh, she... There. She won't look at me, but I count the acknowledgement. What's wrong? My voice is calm. I don't feel that way, but she doesn't have to know that. Except when I stay calm, it sets her off. Claire whirls around, bright green eyes, practically lit with rage. She stabs a long, delicate finger into my chest, making me stumble backwards. You, Brunel! I frown, not used to my full name, in a girlfriend's mouth. Bryn, every time I talk, every time I tell you what's on my mind, you just stare at me like I'm the crazy one. Like a, like, I sigh, mind already wandering off and hands fidgeting. Didn't we just talk about this last week? Claire's face flushes, and I know I've made a very bad move. I reach out to touch her again, but she smacks my hand away. I'm always here for you, she croaks, voice thick with unshed tears. Even when you can't understand, you could be there for me, too. I am there for you. I am there for you. I'm here right now. And I've, and I've blown it. Claire whips around the dreaded corner, her sobs echoing through the empty, f empty for now, halls. Claire? It's her best friend, Myla McKay. What's the matter? Her face suddenly appears around the corner, glaring, then drags Claire away. I hate being seen as the girl who always hurts Clarice Adams. I already know how Myla feels about her be her friend being into girls. And to me, she, she'll, she'll be counting my fuck-ups to convince Claire that all girls are bad for her. Which it just isn't true. When her ex cheated on her, all she said was plenty of fish in the sea. I shake my head. Whatever. I don't care. I don't. To Claire. I hold on to Myla's shoulders as she backs toward a bench in the cafeteria. Tears are drying on my face. They make the skin stiff and itchy. Once she's seated, Myla produces a pack of wet wipes. What's wrong now? She sighs, clearly tiring of this cycle. Regardless, she passes. Re regardless. She pa she pats the seat beside her. She is just so emotionless. The burst of frustration was unlike me, and more tears drop onto my shirt. Heat builds in my face. I even I even try explaining. Myla folds and unfolds her lips. I don't know, Clary. Maybe you should just. 
We're not breaking up, I cry. I sound crazy this time, but I could fix it. Maybe I just have to say it in a Clarice. Myla snaps. You've tried this a hundred times already. Nothing will change her. Nothing is working. Maybe, maybe, she sighs and takes a few deep breaths to center herself. Maybe she just, maybe she's, well, maybe she has, maybe she has changed into a different person. Someone who's just is, isn't who you fell for. I hate seeing you so upset, Claire. She reapplies her lip gloss as a distraction, but I see the sadness in those familiar eyes. Still, no one knows Br uh, Bryn like I do. You never listen to me, Claire, but just do it this once, please. You'll keep getting hurt. What does that tell you about this relationship? I hate when she's right. The bell rings for six-period math class. With an arm around my shoulders, we head out to lunch. We head out of the lunchroom. Sorry if the camera keeps moving. I'm holding it with my own hand, and it's uh, I am not the greatest camera person. Bryn. Maybe it would help if you showed some emotion or expression. We're learning about active listening in my therapy group. I'm in the library with my younger sister, Olivia. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Chapter three, Bryn. Yeah, there we go. Olivia. She's much better with feelings than I could hope to be. I am listening to her. I just try being calm. And she freaks out because of that, I guess. I think. Tell me exactly what happened. She demands. When I'm done, Olivia's frowning. Are you crazy, Nelly? Bewildered, I shake my head. What now? We talked about this last week. No, why would you say that? Well, because we did, I think. I lean back and sigh in exhaustion. Just tell me what's wrong, Liv. Now, when you say certain things, they mean different things to people. She might have heard, shut up, I'm getting bored. Perspective. Perspective. If you said that to me, I'd ask you if you were having a bad day. But I'm your family. If you said that to someone, and if someone said that to you, I raise a hand to stop her. I think I got it. I hurt her feelings by brushing her off without meaning to. Yes, you have to say you're sorry if you want her back again. And hurry. I put my chin in my hand. <sighs> I did focus a lot on facts and logic and school. It was hard ever since Dad and Jane left to really relax. Then Mom got sick and passed away. Dad divorced Jane. My head starts to hurt thinking about it, how it happened all without warning and so fast. <sighs> I can talk with you two. Olivia strokes my hair, standing behind me all of a sudden. You just have to hear her feelings behind the word. The words. I know you can do it. You help me a lot. <sighs> I have to do this alone, Liv, but thanks. You're the best. I kiss the back of her hand. Then, with math class approaching, I head f in that direction. On my way, I bump into Myla. Watch it. Oh, I bump into Myla. She tightens her arm around Claire and scowls. Watch it. Chill out. It was an accident. I bite back. Don't. It doesn't work on me, Brunel. I see right through you. What do you see? 
A real bitch. Chapter 4, Claire. Man, I do not like her. Myla fumes at the desk beside mine. Hurts you, then struts around like she owns the place. I look up from my quiz. Who? My mouth. Your precious Brunel, she whispers. Probably coming to say sorry. She was. I almost... She was? I almost squeal. I had left to go to the bathroom. After their argument had started. Whatever. This pattern is getting old and it shouldn't repeat. Myla raises her hand to get Mr. Larson's attention. I hate her tone, though. Like she's my mother. Maybe I need more friends who can trust that I know who I am. She doesn't know what's best for me. Not even I do yet. What did you do? We could have talked it out. I hiss. Oh, really? Like last week? Immediately, I jump up, Myla reaching for my hand. Miss Adams, is something wrong? Mr. Larson's concerned tone floats through the quiet room, except for the pencils scribbling on paper. I have to... I have to pee! I squeak out. I can't escape her, though. Myla follows me to the bathroom. I just don't want you to... I just don't want you getting... Shut up! I know you hate her. I have to... You have to admit just a little bit that you don't turn her away like that. I do what's right for me. You can't save me. Okay, she says, then leaves. Chapter 5, Bryn. I love my mother, Kirsten Penning. She just wasn't good at her job. Now we live with an adopted family. I love the mother. I love the mother. I liked the mother at first. Staying out of her business, not asking questions, not seeking me out unless I went looking for her. Liv, being more social, hated how uninterested she seemed. But after a month... We realized if we went looking for them, they would talk to us, too. They were just respecting our space at first. She doesn't know anything, says Olivia, referring to my earlier argument as we're walking home. I try, Liv, I say, definitely able to hear the sadness in my tone. I did. I went to say sorry, but her friend is right. She's right. I start to shed tears, but keep them from affecting my voice. Lots of training from my real mom. Two years of going to therapy, living in a safe place, and having a girlfriend does not cure everything. Not even close. And that's what group therapy does. I bet she hates me and won't defend me to her friend. I hiccup through my tears and snot. Why do I bother learning all this social crap? Our better mom, Susan, is ready for us with is ready for us with war bleh, with arms wide open at the door. Her face dims at the sight of mine, and Olivia fills her in. Please don't be so hot. Don't beat yourself up, hon. Mama Susan, which is what I call her, hugs me hard. You're learning, and mistakes teach us things. I'm sure your friend would love to hear you say sorry. It will show her that you cared enough to do so. So I do, later that night before bed. It is her house phone. I can't believe the family has one, but I leave a message. Um, hi, it's me, uh, Brunel. I know we do this a lot, and you do not have to forgive me, but I really, I really am sorry, Claire. Did you know about active listening? I didn't. Just sometimes I feel like a baby crawling. Well, you and Myla know how to get along in this crazy world, you know? Anyway, good night. Uh.
Um, bye.